All right, it's all down to the feet. And I've got my, uh, I think it's a 36 inch mannequin that I bought online at uh, anatomytools.com and uh, a long time ago. Probably one of the handiest reference materials I have. I've got a couple of other smaller uh, figures. I like the one back here in the back. But uh, if you want to get detail into the uh, legs and the feet, this is a great uh, model. And very expensive now. It wasn't as expensive when I first bought it, but now it's expensive. Time to play with some clay. First thing I need to do is work on his leg. Now I was trying to find anything on ancient footwear, and all I got were modern day shoes. <laughs> That's not going to help me, so I'm going to have to just sort of uh, play it by ear. I gotta cut that ground back a little bit. found a really good video on YouTube yesterday on how they would have made boards for a, a boat and uh, without a saw it's interesting to see the technique for using different axes made for different uh, shaping methods and how somebody could take a big piece of a log and cut it down to a board and do it to a certain size. I'll put a link to that video in my video description below. It's well worth looking at. It's a move. It's they're building a Viking ship. Uh, in fact, a replica of the uh, one that was buried at Sutton Hoo in the UK. It was a burial ship, and uh, they're making it the way they would have made it fourteen hundred years ago, and. Uh, it's fascinating to see how they go searching out for the right kind of wood. It takes time to find the right kind of wood because you get wood with uh, splits in it or rotten areas. And uh, that doesn't work out well when you are trying to... make a uh, boat and I can't even imagine the daunting job it was for Noah to get literally tons and tons of wood and uh, to make that boat team that ark now, I'm going to 
Nakem covered uh, footwear. And, uh, but I need to get the shape of the foot under the footwear. What I'm doing is I'm doing the top of these shoes. I got nothing to go by. I did look at some old ancient shoes and, uh, They had to have some past reference to making shoes. And, uh, just trying to get my hand in here. have some kind of a leather wrap to tighten the top of the shoe to the uh, leg. I run some Super Sculpty through the uh, pasta machine. So I get a nice, even looking wrap. I'm making a uh, tied lace. Attempting to. I'm gonna wait till I get the rest of it sculpted before I finish that top part. Now this is bunched up leather. I'm uh, making a shoe that is sewn up right here and it just wraps around the foot the leather and this is the part that's puckered because it's drawn together at the top of the foot I got no basis for this I can imagine something like this being worn anciently. But again, I'm just guessing. I might say my guess is as good as anybody's. I mean, that's what archaeologists do all the time is guess. Okay, I'll get I'll come back when I get this to a point where you can see what's going on. Okay, I'm going to put the uh, bottom of the tie. As soon as I get the right tool to do that with.
All right, I'm going to go ahead and paint this. All right, I've uh, applied my special paint that I had uh, mixed for me. I t went to a hardware store locally and took a sample of my clay and had them match the color of the clay to a house door, a house paint, indoor house paint, a flat colored indoor house paint. So when it dries, there's no difference in the color of the clay and the color of the uh, material I used, just putting the wrinkles in. All right, next time, I'm going to add a few tools. Maybe a mallet and uh, maybe some kind of an axe leaning up against the log. And I'll make them in such a way that I can take them off the clay and uh, have them cast separate so that it doesn't increase the cost of or the difficulty of caught casting this. <sighs> but I'm going to take it to the foundry on uh, Friday, I think, and uh, get a bit on it. I'm happy with this. And it's something that I wanted to do, and... Uh, it's not necessarily a marketable. Oh, I got to work on this back too. I almost forgot that. But I think I'm going to put the uh, the axes and mount. I don't know where I'm going to put them yet. I'll just have to figure that out when I get to that point. If I even had them on. All right, everybody. That's going to be it for today. And. Uh, I will pick this up uh, tomorrow. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.